Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the defrost thermostat on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a pair of wire strippers or crimpers, and maybe some electrical tape. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the refrigerator. So pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it or locate the electrical panel and turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuse. Next, we'll remove all the items that are in the freezer, and we'll store those. We'll need to remove the freezer shelf. On this model, we just lift up on one side, push it fully into the cabinet, lift it out of the other side, and then completely remove it. Small has a sliding tray, so simply pull it slightly forward, lift up on the back until it disengages from the track, and we can pull that out and set it aside. Now we'll need to remove that track assembly on the bottom, and it's held in place with four quarter inch head fed screws. Two at the front and two midway back. And just remove those. lift that track assembly out of the freezer. Now if you have an ice maker in your model, you will need to remove that next. And then we need to remove the evaporator cover at the back. If you have a light bulb on your model, you will need to remove that housing as well. It's typically held in place with a single screw up through the bottom. Just let that housing hang down. We'll remove that screw over the cover for the ice maker harness. And just hinge that cover. What we need to do is to disconnect this ground wire that is attached to that tab. So just pull that off. You can actually push that cover back through that opening. And we'll remove the two screws at the top of the evaporator cover. And then we'll tilt that cover forward. And then we'll just tuck that ice maker harness cover in through that opening. And just gently lift it out of the floor of the freezer at the same time as you tilt it forward. And then you can remove it. So just set that light bulb and housing aside. You can locate the defrost thermostat and it's clipped on the rear bit of tubing there. You just very carefully pry that off. There's a little spring clip to hold it in place. I'm going to cut that harness. If your model has a plug-in style, you would want to cut that before the plug. In this style it is wired directly right back to the main harness plug. So we're just going to cut it. And we'll discard the old one. Then we'll want to strip the insulation away from each of these two wires. And 
and about a quarter to three eighths of an inch of that insulation is all we need to remove. Just make sure that we didn't remove any of the copper. We'll take our new defrost thermostat. Just gather those strands and just twist them slightly, hold them together. Now, depending on the type of wire connector that you will use to connect the new thermostat to the harness, if it's a buck splice type of connector, you could trim those back just a bit. If you're using a twist on wire nut, that 3 8 of an inch length is about right. So we just match them up with the wire harness. Make sure the ends are at the same end. Make sure the ends match, slide the wire nut over the strands, and then twist the nut until it's tight. Do the same for the second wire. Again, we want to make sure that we have that nice and tight. And then we'll use some electrical tape so we'll seal up that junction. Make sure the connections are secure, and then we'll put that new thermostat on that same piece of tubing at the back. And now we can start to reassemble the evaporator cover. So we'll begin by just pulling that light switch and housing out of the way. And we'll slide the evaporator cover towards the back, line up that air duct in the center. We'll just pull that ice maker harness cover through the opening. Make sure the ground wire is accessible. Back into position. We'll reinstall the two screws at the back first. Now, if your model was all iced up on that evaporator, you would let that defrost itself first before you put this cover on. Remember to cut that ground wire to the tab on that evaporator cover. Take that access cover into position and secure it with the screw. If your model had an ice maker, we would install that next. And 
and we'll re-secure the housing for the light switch. Get that screw up through the opening first, line it up, and then tighten it. And then we can put the tray in on the bottom. Now when installing that frame for the lower tray, we want to make sure that we center it over the air duct at the back. We're going to line up the screw holes. Tighten those securely. Now when installing that sliding tray, we need to make sure that we engage these little tabs into the slotted openings on that frame. So center it up, put it almost completely back until it will drop into place. Pull it forward and pull up on it to make sure that it's engaged. And then put our freezer shelf back in. slotted openings, push it towards the cabinet until it's fully inserted, pull it back and let them both drop to the bottom of those slotted openings. And then we can reload the freezer. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.